All right, now we're doing free code camp, new response of web design, learn accessibility by building a quiz, step 17. So typeface plays an important role in the accessibility of a page. Some fonts are easier to read than others. And this is especially true on low resolution screens, turns out. Uh, so we're gonna change the font for both the H1 and H2 elements to Verdana and use another web safe font in the sans serif family as a fallback, gotcha? All right, so also we're gonna add a border bottom of 4px solid in this color to H2 elements to, the, to make the sections distinct, gotcha. All right, so first we're gonna do an H1 and H2 and turn them both into Verdana. So we're gonna say H1 comma H2, and then we're gonna say font, uh, family, and then we'll say Verdana, Dada, Dana, and also sans hyphen serif. And we'll have a little uh, semicolon after that, and then we'll come down here and start another one, and we'll do H2, uh, and then we'll have the curly braces, and we'll say, uh, let's put a space in between these. H2, and we'll say border, nope, border hyphen bottom, and then we'll give it 4px solid, and then we'll do this right here. Another gray, it looks like. All right, and there we go. And uh, on some of the, on one of the Code Wars videos, uh, it taught me that uh, if it's got like the same thing more than once, it's probably a gray, like DF, DF, and then E2. Uh, it's probably some gray color because of that. And then with more, I guess, red, green, blue, with more blue in it, just to let you know. All right, so uh, we're going to check the code. There we go, and submit it. All right, and now we're on to step 18, and we'll see you next time.